Hey guys, it's Beaver. So, this case is... I, I don't know what it is when a group, more than one person, can get together and just torture a child. I don't know why we're seeing an increased amount of this. I assume it's because people are at home and, you know, why not sit around and beat the kids? But, let's take a read. This story comes to us from Kansas City. Little boy caged in wooden crate airlifted to KC Hospital after suffering abuse and malnourished. And malnourished. Malnutrition. Sorry. Stumbled over my words. Stone County, Missouri, Kansas City. Four people in southern Missouri have been charged in connection with severe malnutrition and physical abuse of a four-year-old boy. Four years old who had to be airlifted to Kansas City Hospital in critical condition after being kept in a wooden crate. Let me guess, before I even read, Grandma, Papa, Mom, and Boyfriend? Let me see how accurate I am. The situation involved a month-long investigation by Stone County Sheriff's Office for people living in Billings, Missouri. Uh, home where the abuse allegedly happened had been charged with a felony endangerment endangering the welfare of a child with serious physical The following suspects are all being held in Stone County Detention Center on $50,000 each bond. Let's see. Dessa Barton, 26. Uh, Dalton McLinden, 26. Catherine Christ, 53. Richard Helliker, 52. Let's see. Hopefully, they'll tell us. The investigation began after someone called 911 November 6th to report a four-year-old boy was unresponsive at the home. Emergency medical crews, tra uh, crews transported the boy to Cox South Hospital, uh, then airlifted him to Kansas City in critical condition. Those medical crews told law enforcement that the boy had suffered multiple injuries that were consistent with physical abuse. Long, along with extreme malnutrition, according to a statement released by the Stone County Sheriff's Office. During the course of the subsequent uh, investigation, detectives on November 25th discovered at the home a wooden crate constructed of pallets, which they believed they used to cage the boy for extensive periods of time. Let's go and let me see if I can find another article and track down exactly who's who of this team of losers. All right, so I was able to have another article. Four jailed for abusing Missouri boy. Mob claims self-harm after victim is found unresponsive and malnourished. Self-harm because, you know, often four yotes can feed themselves and get their own food, much less reach the countertop to do all these things. Okay. Let's see. In a shocking case of child abuse, Stones County, Missouri, de uh, deputies arrested four persons after a month-long investigation. Here we go. The boy's mother, Dessa Barton, and her boyfriend, Dalton McLinden. Um, McLinden's 53-year-old mother. And Catherine calls her boyfriend, Richard H Hilliker. So, it's the, the boyfriend's family and her. Same dynamic, though. I knew it was going to be something like this. Uh, the young boy was found unresponsive in critical condition. Let's see. When asked about her son's serious injuries, Barton said the boy had been self-harming by clawing his own arms, nose, and banging his head into things, which caused all, which caused all his injuries. The child was still in Kansas City, but now stable condition. Um, let's see. She said she meant to go, according to uh, Stone County Office, November 6th, investigator received a 911 call of an unresponsive child. We read that. Let's see. The mother might claim the injuries are a result of self-harm, but when investigators asked medical personnel, they confirmed that the injuries were consistent with physical abuse, but the mal malnutrition was their primary concern, adding that the location of some injuries was inconsistent with the possibility of self-harm. So, let me just say this real quick. Even if the child was doing all these things to himself, there's still a reason. There's still a reason. 
which obviously he was not. But nonetheless, oh God, these people are crazy. Let's see if they say anything different. $50,000 bond. The report adds that the young boy had been in Barton's care since January 2020. She lived with McLendon in the home in Billings. McLendon's mother, Catherine Cost. Let's see. That's it. So, wonder why she didn't have the baby until then. And they go to court uh, December 22nd for the preliminary hearing. So, we'll be looking out for that, for these POSs. Let's take one more look at this trove of monsters. And um, let's not forget their faces because at some point they will be out again. And, you know, make sure you keep these people far away from your children. And um, I hope they throw the book at all four of y'all. Because a lot of times in these cases, they end with a injury to child causing death. And praise God, that did not get this far. But keep this baby away from this monster who calls herself a mother. Not only did she abuse this child or allow the abuse to this child, she had the audacity and nerve to turn around and lie and say the kid did it to himself. Good job, Mom of the Year. That's all for me, guys. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you later.